Hi everybody, thanks for watching my video. Welcome to uh, beautiful Michigan where uh, all the leaves are changing and uh, it just rained and it's actually just beautiful out here right now. Everything's kind of sparkling with the fresh rain. And uh, the point of this video actually is to uh, show you the, my latest project on the RV, which is my wood-burning stove. Here you can see my new chimney. Stainless steel sticking right out the top there, sticking right outside of the RV. And um, you can see that there's actually a fire going right now, and there's just a, you could barely see smoke coming out, which is a good sign. It means that it's a healthy fire. You don't want to see black smoke. You just want to see little bits of white, wispy smoke, and that means that uh, things are burning the way they should be. For those of you that are interested in uh, more detailed information and uh, uh, more safety stuff about the installation of the stove and what went into that, please click the link that you're seeing on your screen right now. Uh, I'm going to do a longer video where I talk through a lot of the safety features and a lot of the, um, the thought process that went into uh, putting a wood-burning stove in an RV because uh, there's certainly a lot to think about and consider. This uh, video is just for those who want a quick tour and see that it can be done. And um, So here's my RV, here's my pickup truck, my beautiful campsite. You can see that I don't really have neighbors hardly at all. There's one neighbor behind me um, over here to my left, but that's about it. It's a beautiful place. It's been a great, great place to stay. Let's go inside and take a look at the stove. So here we are inside the, inside the RV. And there's my little stove. Found it on eBay. It's very small. It's the perfect size for uh, for my purposes and for this RV. You can see that I'm going to step back a little bit here. You can see I built a little hearth for it to sit on, and it's got a uh, metal uh, heat shield all around it so that's protecting all the wood. And again, I'll give more detail on this stuff if you click the other video and want to know more of more of that information. This is just a quick tour. Take a quick look inside here and check on our little fire. We can see we've got a healthy little fire going in there. Um, the only downside to a stove this small is that it's it's almost impossible to get enough uh, wood in there for it to burn for hours and hours. But you can get enough in there to, to burn for a couple hours at least and then uh, wake up and soak it in the middle of the night if you need to or whatever. You can see I've got my stove pipe going up here where it connects to chimney pipe goes out through the wall it is blocking my TV but I don't watch television so I really don't care that was a uh, an easy concession to make and actually if I sit over here in my dinette I actually do have full view of the television if I should ever need that here's my little wood burning stove I love that it says Sears and Roebuck right on the front I think that's awesome and uh, it's been treating me really well. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. It's about 42 degrees outside right now. And right now it's over 80 in here. A little bit of overkill. I should probably open a window. Um, you don't want to suppress the fire too much. You want to keep it burning healthy. And uh, maybe just open a window in a minute if I need to. But I just want to show you that it keeps it nice and toasty in here. Got a little bit of fire. Got a little bit of wood by the door. And you can see, uh, you can see how tiny my pieces of wood have to be there hardly any bigger than my hand. They're maybe five or six inches long. And that's all the bigger that will fit in there. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Watch the other video if you want to know more about uh, the safety and uh, um, the installation of the stove. Bye.